Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for Pay Us No Mind, and we're taking a look at the digital distributor McGroove. Now, McGroove is a digital distributor that offers unlimited distribution with no upfront cost. Not only is there no upfront cost, there is also no annual fee or percentage of revenue. So you look at it and you say, okay, well, no upfront fee, no uh, annual fee, no uh, percentage. How are these guys making money? You know, and I mean, they got a unique pricing structure, which is to charge you for the first $5 generated from every release every year. So your release generates $5, that $5 goes to McGroove, not you. And that happens for every release that you distribute through them. Now, listen, to some artists might sound like a great deal, you know, because they look and they say, oh, only $5? That's all it takes? Just the first $5? Because especially artists who are releasing music for the first time, you know, they don't, like the artists that have been releasing music, they understand how streaming works and how little it pays and how many streams you need to make this small amount of money and how many songs that they have to release to generate that small amount of money. So it's like for most artists, man, making $100 a year from digital distribution requires the release of multiple tracks, sometimes multiple albums. And those albums, those three or four albums or those 10 or 20 songs or whatever have you combined will earn them a hundred dollars a year or something like that you know sometimes even 20 you know some of these artists you know and me being on the back end looking at uh artist analytics i see and know for a fact that most artists are not generating even 20 dollars in annual streaming revenue unless they are spending way more than what they're making you know where they're going out and they're paying for marketing campaigns and stuff like that you know, because even those things don't generate enough streams to pay for the campaigns that you ran. A lot of times you got to be doing some type of playlist rigging or something like that, or things got to swing in your favor for things to really like pop off like that. So it's like a lot of new artists might be disillusioned thinking that, hey, or not disillusioned, but might be uh, 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 kind of looking at things from the standpoint of having these rose cut colored glasses and thinking, okay, well, $5, that's easy. I'm gonna make that, no problem. You know, my cousins, everybody gonna stream my joint when it come out and then it come out and that ain't the case. Now, when you're thinking about it, you know, with McGroove, you make, uh, let's say you get, you, you put out 20 releases. Each of those releases generate $5 for the year that's a hundred dollars in total, but that hundred dollars in total doesn't go to you. That hundred dollars goes to McGroove because that is five dollars from twenty different releases. So they're taking the five dollars from each release, and you get nothing, right? You get nothing. McGroove gets one hundred dollars. You get zero. Now to to even earn one hundred dollars, it takes twenty five thousand streams for the year. So it takes 25,000 streams for the year to earn $100. And again, the artists that have music up and Spotify and things of that nature can tell you how difficult it is to get 25,000 streams. Artists that don't have any music up might feel like that's a cakewalk. But once you get into the fire, you realize it ain't so easy, you know? So yeah, man. They're taking your revenue, $5 per release per year. So if you're making $100 a year and it's from multiple releases making $5, you're losing that revenue. It's going to McGroove. Now you look at that versus something like a distro kid or a ditto or something like that. You know, $20 a year, unlimited distribution. You pay $20. You make $100, you keep 80. You look at uh, one RPM, you make $100, you lose 15% of the revenue to one RPM, that's $15, right? Uh, CD Baby, you make $100, 
you lose 9% of it to CD Baby, it's $9 that you paid out. It's $9, right? So these structures save you money, like have you come out better than a system like McGrew. So the McGrew thing sounds better than it actually is. You look, you say only $5, but then you get in, you release your music, the music ain't really moving like that. You put out a bunch of releases. Those releases all together might generate $5 or less, and you don't get anything. So you don't get no money at all, <laughs> you know, because all of that money is going to McGrew. And like I said, again, if you're making over a certain amount, then using a distributor like, like McGrew probably isn't going to make a whole ton of sense for you. You know, if you're making money, then TuneCore or something like that would be better. Now, if you guys want to see a deep dive into McGrew, like if we should add them to the guide to digital distribution ebook, if this video gets about maybe a uh, hundred thumbs up, you know, I'll add them to the guide to digital distribution ebook. Or, you know, you could send a donation or something like that if you want a deep dive of them because you're like, hey, I need to know about this digital distributor. I'm seriously considering them. I want to know about them, right? So there's links uh, in the description box for you to donate to the channel. You can also hit me up at PayUsNoMind on Instagram, at PayUsNoMind on Twitter, PayUsNoMind at gmail.com. Comment. Let me know what you think about this distributor and their pricing structure and everything like that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is GIF signing off. Pay us no mind. Peace, good people. One.